Welcome back you amazing crazy people back to some more Persona 5 Real. We're going to be basically fusing some of the old this. Personas into better Personas here. Uh, drop you a like on this video this. then if you are new to this channel this is the kind of videos I do walkthroughs and guides and I also do some fun footage of this. my montages from different games and I like to do a bit of actually but leave a comment down below if you're you interested hit the red subscribe button turn on notification bell for more videos just like this and let's get into the video guys Except as you can see I'm just using up all my personas that I have and then I'm gonna buy back the ones that I need to, to get the skills that I want now what you have to do is pick two different types of personas and you usually have to either match or you have to be the right correspondent level and then to get the skills they will show up what skills you can then take so it takes a little bit of kind of cho pick and choosing which ones you kind of want but there is a variety of ones that you can have what you want to do is make sure in this particular first palace Make sure you pick up most of the original personas, the first kind of levels, so that you can fuse them into better personas later on. As you can see, I'm trying to get some of the top tier ones. As you can see, I found the Korob Hagoru, and he's going to be learning Zeo, and most probably I'm either going to put Dorminia or Cleave or something like that on him. I like to have Cleave on most of my personas so that um, I can pick and choose whether to use a magic attack or a normal attack. I also try and have at least one or two that have dazzle or some kind of sleep. I see. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Skill. Its power will be nothing. I'm then let I kind of know in. what I'm doing already because I played the original, so I'm trying to get certain skills on certain personas. I'll go ahead and take a more deeper dive into the Persona fusions later on but as you can see I've got a fair few of them already and I'm trying to get the stronger ones but at the moment our level is not that high so you can only fuse them into kind of the same kind of level as what you are so if I'm level 11 I can only go up to 11. And here we go, I'm trying to make the best one I can. And then the ones that you lose, you can b also buy back with money that you have. The, skills you'd like to inherit. the growth one is pretty good, but I'm going to be trying to keep certain Will skills on my personas. There are some really cool skills that you can learn. What I try to do is try and balance out all the personas that I have so that I can have a variety of moves. I try and have one of each type of move. That way each persona can kind of level up to it to its max and its best. Some of the skills that we do need actually to bring into the boss fight eventually is attack plus and defense plus plus uh, decreasing the enemy by attack or defense that will help us increase a buff to our attack defense and it will decrease the boss want? or whoever we're fighting attack and defense power. so we have a much higher boost because with their attack and defense down and as plus attack and defense we're going to be a little bit stronger this persona, this persona? This persona? Is this you lack patience? This persona? Is this what you lack patience? Is this what you want? This persona such rudeness. Is 
this what you want? This a fee is required. This is your power. Done already? What? Time for such effusion. Excessive power only le You can't handle this. Excessive power only leads to destruction. You can't handle this. You cheat. Are you finished? What? How fit? Are you finished? What? Do you need something? Right, as you can see here, we're gonna go into one of the new parts of this game because this is actually the extension to first Persona game, uh, Persona 5. This is now Persona 5 Real, so it's a lot more different than the original. In this kind of fight, we can fight the two sisters here, the twins, and we can get some points. What we need to do is do quite a high level amount of attack against each of their personas that they keep bringing out and try and do as much damage as possible as you can see each attack is going to do a con correspondent attack and do a certain amount of damage you have to make use of what they're saying as you can see it says wind attack and an attack times an amount and then it will multiply by the number and then we have to get a certain amount and then we get a skill or some kind of money or a uh, item at the end at this point we're not that strong so we can't really do too much but I've heard that you can get quite a few items from the twins and I, I believe there's a uh, way to win against them and you can also win against them and get quite a bit it's also a really good addition to it we didn't have this in the first one so we couldn't actually win items or test our personas against different personas. This is actually going to be a way of teaching you how to play the game a lot better because you get a point system and you can see what does more damage against each thing. Let's go! 
Never mind. Persona! Something else. Maybe you can hit their weak point? There! Okay, so as you can see, we're going to go back now, back to where we was before. We're going to be going back into the palace from where we was. Uh, one of the cool things is you can actually go to where the save points are in the palace. So we can jump back right into where we were and where we left, up, left off last time. As you can see, what we're doing is working our way through to the next part of the palace. And it's not that far away from where we need to get to, really. Uh, we're just going to take out a few enemies and then we're going to be on our merry way. As you can see, we've got a lot stronger personas, so we're taking down some of these enemies really easy. And as you can see, we're going to get a lot stronger as we go al along the route towards the treasure room. They were too weak to bother with.
<sighs> okay. Easy win. They were nothing. Show me your true form. Persona! Go down! There's a strong looking one up ahead! I'll reveal your true form! Let's go! Ravage them! They're all knocked down! That was incredible, Joker! Do it! I'll reveal your Who true you? form. to bother with.
Succubus! Kakimitama! There! Koropokuru!
Show me your true form. Let's First go. Move is ours. Hmm. Persona! Yeah. <laughs> All Persona to play. Hey! <laughs> Let's go, Captain! We're on the ground! This nice is going, Let's go! Tear them apart! This will end here! Change your mind. All right, guys. So we did quite a lot in this one. We got really far now, and we're getting really close to that safe, uh, the treasure room. There's gonna be a few things that I'm gonna do off screen, and then we're gonna carry on with the. Uh, palace, and then we will see where we go from there and I'll show you some more Persona Fusions in the next one guys so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and keep up on my uh, Facebook account True Fight Gaming so hopefully uh, you can find out what I'll be doing next I'm gonna be cleaning up a lot of my playlists so if you wanna take a look at some of the playlists I've got so far if you're interested then there will be quite a few things going on soon and I'll be updating everything as I go so hopefully we will have a lot more to go with there's gonna be a lot more live streams soon as I can get them done and I'll catch you in the next one guys